Skills for learning is very important in the sense that it complements what many times we do not have the time or the scope to cover in our own lectures. I think everybody at Skills for Learning is very approachable. Skills for Learning, it's all about becoming an independent learner. We support students in developing academic writing skills, IT and math skills, and our website resources also support group skills, how to do research, um, and reflective writing, for example. When I first started in Level 3, everyone was talking about different skills needed to succeed in Level 3, etc. So I went down to one of the skills learning workshops, found out a bit more. When you turn up, it's really, it's not, it's really informal. You just come down, have a quick chat. Something that's really good about it is, he often asks you, when you first get there, if there's anything specific that you'd like, to, you'd like to talk about. And also, the tutors have always been really great. Throughout my experiences, they'll always, they give you the personal email address, they're always happy to meet up if there's any other queries that you've got, have a personal tutorial, etc. So yeah, really, really easy to access and really helpful. Uh, we also offer workshops, and these are drop-in workshops on such things as essay writing, report and dissertation writing, critical thinking. Over the two or three, first two or three weeks I was attending, I started to build a bit of a relationship with Michael and, you know, become a familiar face. So, um, he just said, if there's, any, if there's anything you want me to check over in terms of writing styles, whether or not you're doing what you, what you think you need to be doing, then that's fine. He was always really helpful, always giving me some advice. Obviously he didn't know the actual content because he's not a specialist in what I'm studying but just general writing skills, writing styles, etc. He always give me some good advice, so really, really helpful. I teach students IT skills at a, a range of levels. I start with some students who have got no IT experience. The, the beginner students, I will take them through the range of key IT skills they're going to need in order to produce work at university level. Many students come, they're studying a course, it does have a quantitative data aspect, it does have mathematical components which they haven't perhaps realised, haven't done math since GCSE. So they come with a multitude of different aspects and basically I'm supporting students mathematical skills as part of another course. The website's organised around an, a number of themes ranging from academic communication to IT um, to language learning. I've found that using the A to Z index um, is a, the best way to find what I'm looking for because it's such a vast website. So as a new research student I was finding it quite intimidating to find out how to actually plan my research, uh, how my research will be structured and how to use uh, different research methods allied to my research project. Uh, the information is all out there uh, but finding it together in one place as I did on the Skills for Learning website was very helpful. I've noticed a lot of um, self diagnostic tests for example so that the students can go through what they need to look at in those areas in which they need to improve. Um, I always refer to it as an essential guide for when I discuss report writing or essay planning. Well later in my final year um, my, lectures and, my lecturers and seminar leaders were talking about some of the skills that are really vital in level three to achieve what you want to achieve at university and that's the best grade you can get. Um, Definitely, the skills that I've been able to develop, especially ones around being critical, which a lot of university lecturers will talk about as a vital skill when working, being able to critique other people's research, other people's work. If I hadn't attended the skill to learn workshop, I don't think I'd have been able to develop the skill, that skill to the level that I feel that I have been able to. When students finish the range of tutorials and workshops that we've set up with them, we see that they've really blossomed. They've got a whole new set of skills under the belt. This gives them confidence to tackle other academic skills and they begin to start really enjoying the university experience. One regret that I would have around about skills learning is that I didn't access the service earlier. It's so easy and simple. My advice to anybody around skills for learning is go and try it out, it's free of charge get in there early, develop the skills and it'll make life a lot easier as you pass through years at university.